Good morning, everybody. How's or good afternoon? How's everybody doing today? Good. <laughs> great. Thank you. Great. Uh, thank you for the show. I am a sucker for these types of shows. <laughs> I loved it. I was like consumed. No pun intended. Uh, Tamara, I gotta start with you because. Um, obviously, during the pandemic, as all of us kind of started baking, cooking, you kind of took it to the next level and started your own uh, little Instagram show. But what is it about this show when they came to you and said, you know, uh, can you do this? What sets this show apart from others that we've seen? Well, I've always wanted, it's been a dream of mine actually to host a baking show. Ever since I was 16, I loved to bake. I, I wanted to learn. My mom always had fresh baked cookies mm. in the house and cake, you know, any, any kind of treat. And I, I kind of have that right now. She passed it down to, to me, but I love the idea of avid home bakers, amateur bakers competing yeah. against professional bakers and, and not being a, a afraid to do that. I know there, there may be people when they hear that, they go, oh, well, that's unfair. Actually, no, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not. That's the misconception. If, if you are a home baker, this is something that, that you've been doing and you absolutely love, 100% you, you can go head to head with, with a professional. And, and we, we saw that, right? Yes. We, we saw it and, and it, was, it was slightly surprising and we loved their stories behind yeah. there's always great stories behind I, that's what i love too i love that kind of stuff now bill for you look you know oh you know you spend a lot of your career in the white house baking for some pretty important people like that that's pretty talk about pressure so when you watch these you know professionals against the amateurs i want to know what the best advice you have for them even even if, either either side for them to keep calm uh yeah good Good thing. Well, we uh, we always say together, um, believe in yourself, believe in what you know and what you've learned. And um, and sort of just like with uh, with anything, kind of stick with what you know. Don't kind of go too far out of your comfort zone. It doesn't just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not going to win. There right. were a lot of simple creations that won because they had everything. They had execution. They had concept. They had flavor, texture and appearance or aesthetics. So um, yeah, I would say, you know, a, a, game, a show like this is not the time to, you know, start to be really yeah. experimental. <laughs> so stick with what you know. And uh, as we, all, we found in this show that many home bakers really could stand up to the professionals. The advantage of home baking is that you're always using, like you're serving it fresh. It comes out of the oven, you serve it. Whereas professionals are used to um, preparing in stages, sort of like yes. assembly line. You, you prepare a hundred items and store and then do the next step and store. So in many ways, the home bakers had some advantage in that fresh category. Exactly. Now, Tamara, you have such a great for, um, on this show together. I like watching you. I want to know if the two of you had a bake off to get into the spirit of things. <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> We're planning one though. Yes, we are. I have this dream of just baking with, I, I want to bake in his kitchen. <laughs> I just feel like it'll be really. So do I. So do I. <laughs> right? I, I feel like he'll have everything that, you know, we'll need. But also Bill, and this is what I loved about hosting with him. He is an amazing teacher. Mm. So yes, he, he will be critiquing you, but at the same time, he's doing it in a way where he wants you to thrive. He wants yeah. you to, to strive for you know uh, the best. So he's naturally in encouraging. So I honestly would love to take a one-on-one -on -one personal baking class with, with, with Bill. I think it'll be so much fun. I agree. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to on that. I'll fly in. I'm, you know, I, I'm happy to pay for, for that for sure. Um, now, Bill, I got to know, did uh, anybody in the White House ever challenge you to a bake-off? Like maybe Michelle Obama? How, how would that go? Um, 
<laughs> let's see, uh, to a bake-off in the White House. Um, no, the only thing close to that is um, early on in the Obama administration, uh, we, you know, we, I was up in the residential kitchen with uh, one of the sous chefs from the main kitchen. Yeah. And uh, President uh, Obama had asked for an omelet. Okay. And, and it was, this was like one of the first days. And so the sous chef sent it out and he came back in the kitchen and said, let me show you how to make an oh, omelet. You didn't house. tell me that. What, <laughs> what, I've never told this story before. I guess it's, it's far enough back now. But, <laughs> and he taught us how to make omelet. I mean, the way he liked it, you know. Okay, um, what's the secret? So what's the secret? Cause I think I'm a pretty good omelet maker. Oh yeah, so well, so yeah, he particularly wanted, um, three whole, I remember this uh, specifically, three whole eggs and two yolks. So take a yolk out, has a little more white, it's a little more fluffy. Um, so it, it wasn't like, it was just fun. And, you know, early on in their presidency, the the newly elected president is a little more relaxed and like doesn't have the weight of the world yet. So yes. I really, I cherish those moments. Um, there was a few of them kind of funny moments when when they first came in. I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, listen, what a delight to talk to you both. Again, thank you so much for this show. And and Tamara, you know, I hope I'm sure there's a lot of eating going on as oh. well. So how do you control that? I did not. <laughs> we don't try. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, we uh, we ate everything. And then if it was really good, yeah, literally either Bill had to say, OK, Tamara, stop. Or, or I had to say, Bill, dang, <laughs> like, that's like, you're, <laughs> it's fine, you're eating, yeah, eating all of we have to go to the next contestant. <laughs> well, you know, it's no calories when you're on television, so just remember that's that. Right. Yeah. That's right. okay. Especially a baking show. Come Especially. on. Especially. I'm not going to be like, mm, no, I enjoyed it. Okay, well, maybe I'm going to try out for the next season. I'm going to, I'm going to look at do that because my baking skills have gotten pretty good over the last year and a half. Ooh, so, thank you. So, yeah, I'd love it. They, I want that golden rolling pin in my kitchen. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for your time and thanks for the show. It's a delight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.